tell you a story about one of us. My new order just came through. I leave on a new anti-drought mission in three days. I should be coming through hey, shortly. Hey, Cornelius is leaving now. I wonder where he's going. I have an urgent request from Mother Beam. What? Oh, oh, no. As you know, her area has been wonderfully fertile for many years, but suddenly a hot wind came up and devastated it. That sounds like a terribly delicate mission. You simply must find a good source of water. You're absolutely right, and find it I will if I have to look under every rock in the valley and the surrounding mountains. See you when the mission's over, guys. Bye-bye. Huh? I know you can do it. You're the best one of the bunch. You won't fail. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you, friends. See you soon, and may your missions turn out well, too.
as though it's decided never to rain again. Oh, here I go, forced to leave my beloved homeland. Your cruel south wind. Stupid plants won't grow here. We'll take over the whole valley. We'll run it just to suit ourselves. <laughs> we gotta have ourselves a little celebration. Let's hear some music. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Twisted roots dried up yesterday. Drinking, brunching, gardening. That's why I brought my Trifibian. We'll set things to rights, you'll see. Things are in a very bad way here. There isn't a drop of water for miles and miles around. What? Not a single brook? Before we had all the brooks and rivers, streams and lakes you could hope for. Then a hot wind came up from the south and dried everything up. My poor little baby plantling gone down. Well, I'm sorry about the plantlings, Mother Bean, but don't worry, I'll have this place bursting with luxuriant greenery just the way it used to be. Honest to goodness. But uh, Cornelius, you'd have to find water for that and everything's so parched here. You'd have to find water for that and everything's so parched here. <laughs> we'll find it. There's bound to be an underground spring. Oh, we'll find it. There's bound to be an underground spring. <laughs> <laughs> you two are not bigger boneheads than you actually are. I'm sorry about that, <laughs> Things aren't looking too good. They must not find water. We'll have to fight them with any weapon we can find. Hey, okay, I Chief. have an idea. Quiet, oh, all right. Dear. Listen to this. Get if it. they find water, we'll benefit from it far more than they will. We'll cover the whole valley floor like a Persian carpet. <laughs> Here comes that dreadful wind again! Oh. Well, he certainly is a wild old brute there, isn't he? I'm gonna blow you away! Away! desert this place has turned into. Oh, I've just got to get a little drink of water. I don't need much. A little dab will do me. Well, there's a little trickle behind those rocks, maybe. Then what the heck are we waiting for? <laughs> I'm gonna blow you away. Goodness, this heat is truly stifling, Mother Bee. Cornelia, since the wind took the water into the sky, can't we go up there and get it back? I think we'll be going the other way, Mother Bean. I'll explain as soon as I wet my whistle, okay? Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Oh. 
I'm gonna blow you away! Anymore. We've got to do something. Come on, let's go. Where are we going, Cornelius? Where are we running to? Wait and see. Cornelius, I can't keep this up for much longer. <laughs> into the bowels of the earth, we'll find the answer to all our problems. Water! trying to create a desert, and you're the only ones who can help us, get it? We'd love to, 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 we'd love to. Got to explain one thing. I saw you disappear into the sky. How come now you're down here? What do you mean? You really don't know? You explain. Oh, when the air is too hot, we drop some water, evaporate, and become lighter than air. We float up higher and higher and higher into the stream. We turn into warm clouds. And then, if we should happen to bump into a cold cloud, we create rain and storms. Who knows where we're going? I wouldn't care to run off too far. I enjoy being with. Let's go down and check out the situation. Here we go. Okay. 
turn into a cloud that goes way high up in the sky, and that can then become a whole... Wait a minute, Mother Bean. You don't have all the facts. It's true, they can become huge rain clouds, but only if conditions are right. Down here, there's no hot wind to evaporate them. This makes no use at all. Of course it is. We'll bore a hole in the roof and bring the lake up to the surface. up and you'll have your own private lake. Cannon units long! Think something that important escaped our attention? <laughs> when we set out to reclaim a region, we don't believe in half measures.
classified in the animal kingdom. The hornet is classified as an insect belonging to the order of Hymenoptera and to the Vespidae family. Their thorax is joined to the abdomen by a very slender waist. In color, they're mostly black and yellow. Their eyes are large and open. How many species are there and where do they live? Only one species of hornet is known, the Vespa cabro, found all over Europe, Northwest Africa, Central Asia, and in the United States. How do they live? They are social insects, and they form large annual colonies. Only the fertilized females survive the winter by hibernating in special protected cells. Nests are built in hollow trees or under the eaves of houses. How do they move? Hornets have two pairs of wings that allow them to fly for long periods. The hornet in flight is recognizable by its own special droning buzz. What do they eat? They feed on sweet, sugary substances that they obtain by burrowing into fruit, and also in insects, with which they also feed their larvae. How do they protect themselves? They have a sting that they use to inflict very painful bites. They are, in general, fairly aggressive and won't hesitate to attack if they feel in any way threatened. How do they relate to people? Very badly. A hornet sting, apart from being very painful, can be extremely dangerous and can cause anaphylactic shock in people who are especially sensitive or allergic. Can they live in the city? Yes, they can. In fact, hornets always tend to live close to human habitations. Nothing that can't be done. <laughs> oh, look who's coming! <laughs>